Great to have you back on The Breakfast here on PLOS TV Africa. Now, let's go back in history, just a little bit um, back in history, and of course, uh, share with you what happened on this day, the 11th of August, many years ago. I'm going back to 2014, and it's, um, you know, one of the days where the, the world lost one of the most beautiful souls, the most talented actors, um, you know, on record. Um, it's also one of the most painful celebrity deaths, um, you know, that I have, you know, had to, you know, live with, and that is the death of uh, Robin Williams. Um, I think Robert Williams and Sound Sultan would be, you know, you know, top of the chart for me, you know, worst celebrity deaths, you know, ever. Um, but on this day, uh, Robin Williams uh, committed suicide. He was 63 years old and he had had a very, very, very interesting and beautiful career for many, many years, um, you know, making some of the most beautiful movies and also being a voice artist, um, or, you know, um, an animator, you know, mm -hmm. uh, for some of the best movies ever. I think um, from um, his uh, Miss Doubtfire era to there's a movie that he did on Vietnam, Hello Vietnam or something like that. That was, you know, way back then when he just started out acting until, you know, much, much later when he became, you know, a huge Hollywood star. Um, he committed suicide on this day in 2014 and um, it brought back conversations really about what depression um, was like, you know, and how a lot of people could be suffering in silence and nobody knew. A couple of years later, we heard about DJ Avicii, who also committed suicide, um, you know, as a result of depression. Um, the final autopsy report, you know, after he died, showed that he died of asphyxia due to hanging. Um, reports were that he was found hanging by his belt um, in a room. An examination of the, his brain tissue showed, uh, suggested William suffered from diffuse Liu body dementia. He was uh, regarded as one of the best comedians of all time, and he instantly became global news after he, he died. Throughout the course of his career, he won numerous awards, including an Academy Awards for Best Supporting Actor for his role in Good Will Hunting, which is, of course, also one of the best um, um, movies ever put, um, created. Um, it's, it's just really, really sad talking about it. Because every time I have to remember that, you know, he is and will forever be, he is definitely one of my favorite actors ever. Um, CeeLo Green, the artist, eventually did a song a couple of years after his death, uh, titled Robin Williams. And it was really just talking about people suffering in silence and, you know, the fact that you don't know much about what a person is dealing with uh, while they're smiling, you know, while, you know, they're happy. You know, the same thing with Richard Pryor and some of all the um, other uh, comedians who put a smile on the face, or put a smile on the face of millions of people across the world, billions mm -hmm. of people across the world, but inside of them, they were really, really sad and, you know, dealing with a lot, you know, you know personally. Indeed. You know, you just captured the essence of that. You know, celebrities especially, lots of expectations of them, you know, but you never really know what they're battling. And it just really reminds me of some things I read about emotional intelligence and how you ask people, how are you? And the automatic response is, oh, fine, good, great. Well, you never really know because it or to take more directed questioning to really find out how a person feels inside. So regardless of the success that you see, regardless of the smile you see, you know, it's, it, it, people feel deep, right? And it's important for us to know that and to care more, to love yeah, more, absolutely. exactly. Because you never really know what the person's battling. But the person, uh, Robin Williams, fantastic actor, comedian, you know, people really talk about one of his talents, being able to just improvise and create characters on the spot of the moment. I totally, totally love Jumanji, the 1995 film he, he, he featured in that, and as well as so many other great movies in history. Um, too bad he passed them yeah. on this day in history. Now, let me go back to the year 1973. On this day in history, I would say hip-hop was born. I mean, that's what the records have shown. So there was this uh, Jamaican, um, hip, Jamaican DJ. His name was DJ Kuhert. He's known as the founder and the father of hip-hop. Now, what happened was that the, this DJ, right, he would play music to crowds at a house party because he usually started with like house parties. He would, play, he would play music at house parties. And he noticed that when songs come on, you know, especially funk style of music, when these songs come on, there are particular parts of that music that come on and then the crowd just go wild. When the particular parts just come on, he noticed, you know, he was able to take the time to observe the reaction of the crowd at certain parts of a song. 
So what he did was that he began to isolate those parts of the song and he will repeat those beats. And that's how he basically, you know, created his own style of hip hop. And that's how, you know, when you just played those repeated beats, people really went wild at those parties. Yeah. And, you know, it created this cultural movement where people would just come together, you know, come together in the houses and then they would just rhyme, just rhyme to those beats. And that's how really hip hop was born. DJ Kuhu was a formidable interesting man when like you, you cannot talk about the evolution of hip-hop without talking about dj kuha especially how you know i mentioned him he was able to use those beats to figure out that this is a new style this is something else he could create and he was able to evolve it and it just changed over time people adding their own style to it people you know evolving rhythm lyrics regarding rap music and that's how hip-hop was born basically yeah you know and of course this is in the 70s um, 1973. Yeah, you eventually gave birth to, you know, the, you know, Ron DMCs the, or the Public Enemy, um, you know, Beastie Boys, um, you know, and whichever, you know, 80s hip hop group that you can remember, you know, um, Ice Cube and Ice T and, you know, who, the ones that we have today that are completely ruining hip hop, you know, uh, singing. <laughs> I think that's that a new nonsense. style totally though. <laughs> I saw something about Snoop Dogg making a mockery of the new style of rap. Anyway. But, but that's 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 life for you. Things will change and evolve over time, whether you like it or not. Yes, yes And people will. will coin, oh, I'm now doing Afro, hip hop, punk. They coin their own genres and they have well, their rights. Not, I mean, it's I think, I think it's also understanding that there is a market for it, you know. The, the market for the likes of the Wu-Tang Clan and, you know, and, that, and that era may not be as much as it is today. Um, you know, they still are legends. Uh, uh, Ron DMC is still a legend. Uh, you know, this, of course, Snoop is still a legend. There, there's still, you know, very, very many of them that are still legends still this day. Uh, but I think the market is, is changing. The sound is changing a little bit. Um, and, you know, the world has to, of course, the hip hop world has to, of course, you know, move with the times that we're in. Not everybody would accept, you know, the new age hip hop, you know, the, uh, you know, the likes of um, um, Migos and, and, um, and the like. But, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. And yes, if you love hip hop music, know your history, guys. DJ Cool Hess, remember the name. He basically developed the blueprints for hip hop music. And that's it for you on Today in History. We'll take a break and return to talk um, serious issues regarding Nigeria's economy. Uh, it's an issue between the courts, the River State Government, and the Federal Inland Revenue Service. Stay with us. <laughs> 